हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू अनदर फ्रेश एपिसोड ऑफ योर फेवरेट टेक्नोलॉजी वाला शो वेल दिस इज टेक विद टीजी ये एक ऐसा शो है जहां पे आई ट्राई टू ब्रेक डाउन द कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजीज सो दैट हमको पता चले कि व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन बिहाइंड द सीन्स हाउ एग्जैक्टली ऑल द टेक दैट वी सी अराउंड अस फंक्शंस एंड आखिर फ्यूचर में व्हाट कैन वी एक्सपेक्ट From the current ones, and आज का जो शो है इसमें I'm going to talk about the connected devices, or I would say this net of connected devices all around us. मतलब मैं सिर्फ अपने फोन लैपटॉप स्मार्ट वॉच की बात नहीं कर रहा हूं आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट आर स्मार्ट ए सी स्मार्ट रेफ्रिजरेटर्स स्मार्ट स्पीकर स्मार्ट लाइट स्मार्ट सॉकेट वेल एवरी थिंग इज स्मार्ट एंड गाइज दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द आई ओ टी सिंपली मीन्स द इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स लेट्स एक्सप्लोर एंड फिगर आउट कि क्या चल रहा है एंड फ्यूचर में क्या हो सकता है माय नेम इज गौरव ए के टी जी यू आर वॉचिंग टेक विथ टी जी तो जल्दी से आगे बढ़ते हैं चलिए शुरू करते हैं देखिए टेक्नोलॉजी जो है वो बहुत ही तेजी से इवॉल्व हो रही है मतलब जस्ट इन द स्पैन ऑफ 25 30 इयर्स वी जस्ट लुक कि हम कहां से कहां आ गए हैं हम कहां लैंडलाइन से आज ऑन द गो 5G वाले फोन्स को यूज कर रहे हैं तो मतलब यहां पे इवोल्यूशन सिर्फ टेलीफोन्स uh, में नहीं हुआ है इवोल्यूशन चारों तरफ हुआ है टॉक अबाउट ऑल आर अप्लायसेज वेल दे आर गेटिंग स्मार्ट एवरी ईयर आप कंपेयर कीजिए अपने टेलीविजन को जो आज आपके सामने है वर्सेज जो टीवी शायद आपके घर में आज से 25 साल पहले था वी ऑल हैव कम अ रियली लॉन्ग वे या कुछ चीजें जो 25 साल पहले एग्जिस्ट ही नहीं करती थी थिंग्स लाइक द स्मार्ट स्पीकर्स और स्मार्ट लाइटिंग जो कि कहीं थी ही नहीं वेल यहां पे ये जो सारे मॉडर्न अप्लायसेज हमारे चारों तरफ हैं दे आर रियली यूजफुल इन मल्टीपल डिफरेंट वेज फिर चाहे हम बात करें अबाउट एनर्जी एफिशिएंसी यू टॉक अबाउट रिमोट मॉनिटरिंग यू टॉक अबाउट रिमोट कंट्रोल समटाइम्स और यू टॉक अबाउट मेंटेनेंस यहां पे हम काफी ज्यादा बेनिफिट ले रहे हैं ऑल थैंक्स टू दीज मॉडर्न कनेक्टेड डिवाइसेज Well, अभी के लिए आई थिंक इट्स टाइम फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ दीज आई ओ टी डिवाइसिज फॉर अस टू लर्न बेटर क्या कि हाउ एग्जैक्टली द जर्नी हैज बीन ऑफ दीज कनेक्टेड डिवाइसिज विच वर नॉट ऑलवेज कनेक्टेड द इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स और आई ओ टी हैज रिवोल्यूशनलाइज द वे वी इंटरक्ट विद एवरी डे अप्लायसेज The journey of IoT in appliances began with basic automation. Shuruaati dino me smart appliances sirf timers aur remote controls tak simit the. Us time coffee makers ACs jaise devices limited connectivity ke saath aate the. Connectivity era, Wi-Fi and mobile integration. With the rise of Wi-Fi and mobile applications होम अप्लायसेज बिकेम मोर इंटरक्टिव लोग कहीं से भी अपने अप्लायसेज कंट्रोल कर सकते थे स्मार्ट रेफ्रिजरेटर्स वॉशिंग मशीन एंड अवन स्टार्टेड इंटीग्रेटिंग मोबाइल कनेक्टिविटी ए आई एंड वॉइस असिस्टेंट्स इंटेलिजेंट ऑटोमेशन ए आई और वॉइस असिस्टेंट्स ने स्मार्ट डिवाइसिस को और ज्यादा इंटेलिजेंट बना दिया devices could now learn user preferences and automate tasks ab smart gadgets user ki aadatein samajhkar khud kaam karne lage hain edge computing and predictive maintenance appliances began utilizing edge computing for real time decision making edge computing se devices bina delay ke turant response dene lage this enabled predictive maintenance reducing the risk of sudden failures predictive maintenance ka matlab hai ki appliances khud bata sakte hain ki kab unhe repair chahiye sustainable and energy efficient iot devices modern iot appliances prioritize energy efficiency and sustainability aaj ke smart devices electricity save karne ke liye ai aur automation use karte hain Smart meters, adaptive lighting and intelligent HVAC systems contribute to greener homes. Smart homes aaj sustainable living ka ek bada hissa ban chuke hain. 
IoT appliances have transformed from simple tools to intelligent, interconnected systems. Aaj IoT devices sirf convenience nahi, balki smarter aur efficient life ka hissa ban chuke hain. Guys, I am sure uh, by now you are very much aware about these IoT devices. Or, मतलब आपको काफी कुछ पता चल चुका है, but अभी खत्म नहीं हुआ है बिकॉज ब्रेक के बाद आई एम गोना कम बैक टू यू टू एक्सप्लोर इवन मोर एंड जस्ट टू लर्न कि आखिर फ्यूचर में क्या क्या पॉसिबिलिटीज हैं एवरीथिंग राइट आफ्टर द शॉर्ट ब्रेक हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू टेक विद टी जी एंड आई एम श्योर आज का जो एपिसोड है उसमें जितना भी टेक है यू आर एन्जॉइंग इट ऑल बिकॉज आफ्टर ऑल इट्स ऑल अबाउट द लेटेस्ट कटिंग एज स्टफ ऑफ द आई ओ टी डिवाइस प्रेजेंट ऑल अराउंड अस एंड फ्यूचर में आखिर क्या क्या होने वाला है उसको लेकर भी हम बात कर रहे हैं और यहाँ पे अभी इट्स टाइम फॉर अस टू लर्न फ्रॉम एन एक्सपर्ट टू टू नो मोर अबाउट हाउ एग्जैक्टली इज द फ्यूचर गोइंग टू बी वेन वी टॉक अबाउट कनेक्टेड डिवाइसिस वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द स्मार्ट होम्स वी टॉक अबाउट कि कैसे ये जो हमारे अप्लायसेज हैं ये आपस में एक दूसरे से बात कर पाएंगे लेट्स लर्न मोर फ्रॉम आर एक्सपर्ट रवि सक्सेना फाउंडर एंड सीईओ ऑफ वंडर शेफ इंडिया मोस्ट एक्साइटिंग एंड फास्टेस्ट ग्रोइंग ब्रांड फॉर किचन अप्लायसेज वेल आई ओ टी इज नॉट द फ्यूचर इट इज ऑलरेडी देयर इट जस्ट डिपेंड्स ऑन विच अप्लायंस विच कंपनी एंड विच ब्रांड adopts the technology and creates a winning edge some brands like wonder chef are already doing that let us take a simple example who doesn't want to walk into a room which is pre cooled when you come from hot uh, atmosphere humid uh, conditions why wait for 5 7 minutes sweating before the room cools down this is the first application of iot which has entered indian homes that you can switch on your iot driven air conditioner from your mobile you can switch it on 10 minutes before you reach home and you walk into a nice cool atmosphere but this is just the beginning but it starts giving you an idea that what iot can achieve today we have brought iot inside the kitchen so we have developed an iot driven device which is a automatic kitchen robot we call it chef magic which has hundreds of recipes and it's iot driven in the sense that when you want a new recipe you just request for it and our chefs develop the recipe next time you switch on your device the recipe is already there and you just keep following simple instructions of putting the ingredients keep pressing the button and lo and behold the recipe is ready in half an hour one hour even if you do not know how to cook this iot driven device can create the finest recipes tasty food for you so when we have a slew of iot driven devices at home it gives us the possibility of personalizing every device to the tastes and preferences of every individual at home and this is best done leveraging artificial intelligence machine learning because when a device is iot it's not one way communication that the company or wonder chef is giving recipes to the consumers it is two way communication when i make coffee i like the long espresso shot my wife likes cappuccino which is lighter so my coffee is with 12 grams of coffee powder her coffee is with 8 grams of coffee powder how does the machine know that because that's how we have trained it and that's what the machine learns and that's the information as a company as wonder chef we have in our back end that ravi likes his coffee this way palavi likes her coffee that way my kid my son my daughter they all have their own preferences whether it is the room temperature what is the kind of coffee they want to have whether it is the recipe they they are cooking it's more chilly less chilly more spicy less spicy all this data collected for lakhs of customers is fed into ai and thereby we define recipes we define devices which are acceptable to most but yet can be customized to every individual's own preference 
you know it's very cultural for example in india we are much more hand oriented writing oriented as compared to voice oriented uh, the viewers may be surprised to know that the usage of voice commands or voice messaging in india is one of the lowest in the world in us it's very high but surprisingly in china it is even higher than in us and in india we use only 5% of what the chinese use as voice messages so i know all of you are very fond of whatsapp i am very fond of whatsapp i think 2 to 3 hours a day we spend on whatsapp reading news reading uh, chats from our group members um, seeing our business reports everything is on whatsapp and when we have to type messages we type long messages using our two thumbs or using the swiping on whatsapp but you know what they do in china or us they just press the microphone and record and i think it also comes from the various languages that we have because we are a multilingual country so i'm making it india specific uh, as an answer not global uh, so in us everyone is speaking english in china everyone is speaking mandarin but in india you know there are 30 official languages so we are not so comfortable uh, using voice commands whether i should say in english or in hindi or in tamil and then the others uh, would not understand so i think our multilingual approach comes in the way but when it comes to devices is the same thing uh, you know even alexa while it is so command driven voice command driven the usage somehow is not so much in india as in the west or china for their own devices they don't use alexa so much but they have their own solutions so for india i am not so sure that we will become so much voice driven but yes we will become remote driven i think as indians we are far more comfortable typing things or uh, working with the remotes uh, rather than you know making gestures i think we are also a little more self conscious as a society so i have seen uh, uh, our own users in the kitchens we have gesture controlled chimneys but you know what they are always happier pressing 1 2 3 speed rather than doing this gesture to increase if you just do like this the chimney speed will increase if you do two times like this the chimney would shut off but you know what they are conscious they they won't be they they don't like being seen making funny gestures like this they are happier pressing the button i think it's cultural so frankly the brands will introduce uh technologies which are gesture controlled voice controlled i am not so sure how much we as indians will use them when any appliance is technology driven especially iot and it's a two way communication uh, one of the biggest questions is that how risky is it what is the risk of data leak well this question can have two answers one is that almost everything that we do today whether it is our banking our credit cards our uh, mobiles uh, even our google accounts our netflix accounts they are all password driven so what's new why should it be a worry why should it be a question at all because consumers are used to uh, having passwords you know strong passwords and uh, they're used to managing them at the same time we also know that the instances of uh, data leakage are increasing the instant instances of uh, uh, identity leakage identity um, let's say misuse are increasing and when many more devices which are on the face of it harmless innocuous they also become iot oriented a lot of people may not want to use the same level of password security for them as they use it for a mobile phone or a bank account because the perception of risk is low in a bank account my association is very clear if my password is not strong enough i can lose money but if i am using a coffee machine and i use a simple password i think it's not a problem because well who is going to hack into my coffee machine and make a free cup of coffee right but the problem is that passwords of people follow set patterns so if i keep a certain password for my bank in all likelihood i will keep a similar patterned password for my coffee machine also though a simpler one 
and if not protected well there can be leaks happening because algorithms can identify the simpler passwords and put together your complex passwords so it will be very important to train the consumers into using strong passwords and different passwords we highly recommend our people not to use their banking password for their phone and not to use their phone password for their uh, netflix account and certainly don't use your netflix password for a chef magic account use different passwords all of them should be strong passwords and independent of each other so when 20 different devices at our at our home are password driven surely that risk increases but it is our responsibility as brands to train the consumers about the risk to tell them about the risks that they can face and they have to do the hard work if they are enjoying the benefits of iot driven devices the benefits of automated living quality living i think they have to invest time in managing their passwords now guys dekha aapne ki kaise exactly it is not just a convenience i mean of course it's convenient for us to have uh, the ac which is running in automatically and setting the best temperature as per our needs or the weather outside ya kaise uh, speakers apna volume adjust karte hain ya kaise hamare blinds apne aap khulte aur band hote hain but convenience ke beyond it is also about efficiency it is also about safety it is also about remote monitoring and giving you that control of all your appliances inside your houses i think right now we are moving in a good track uh, journey has been fantastic and going in future we'll have the smartest of homes for all of us to enjoy the tech that goes behind the scenes well, guys that's all for this week's episode i'm sure you all enjoyed it agar aapko kuch bhi kehna hai if you have any message or any interesting topic for me to explore in the coming episodes you can drop in all your emails the address is very simple ye hai tg@ndtv.com i'm going to see you next week same time same place abhi ke liye itna hi take care and have a good day 